with opening day right around the corner I figured it would be a great day to show you guys a little bit of a gear dump of what I bring in October 1st on my first saddle hunt of the year okay let's talk about optics first so early season bow season I wear this glass pack it's a vortex glass pack I think I picked it up for 30 bucks at Cabela's and then I rock these Leupold Yosemite um, 8x30 they're waterproof they're real small they're great for early season bow hunting they're not a very strong optic so they, they just work really good in tree sand when there's a lot of leaves in the trees still being early season for a rangefinder I use a vortex ranger it's the 1800 it illuminates in red and in low light that's really nice because using the black illumination and with it being dark sometimes it's hard to see your yardage that it's recording at I had that issue last year actually I was, I was having trouble um, getting a good yardage on my buck it kept reading 36 I shot for 36 and it was actually 34 so I actually hit a little far back and then that's one of the thing reasons why I decided to get this vortex 1800 my rangefinder also has this long lanyard on it I'll clip it in on this snap whenever I put this uh, harness on and then if I drop it it doesn't go anywhere in the tree it's normally clicked on to the side of my pack right by my milkweed to check um, my thermals and the wind direction one of the main things to have out there especially during early season or like turkey season I use it year-round. Well, I use this year-round. It's a uh, Sawyer insect repellent. Dealing with ticks, I don't want to have Lyme disease, Lyme disease or anything, so I just spray my clothes with this. You spray your clothes with it, it, I think it lasts like six weeks. This does five complete outfits, so you have to do it just once every six weeks or like four washes or six washes. It's something like that. And then early season especially, I'll use this the lotion insect repellent. This is Sawyer brand as well. Sawyer makes really good insect repellent stuff, but yeah, you gotta defend against those mosquitoes and ticks. They carry way too many diseases just to be out there messing around with them. This is my gutting knife. It's just a Gerber, has no serration, serrations on it. In the woods, I typically just gut my deer. I don't ever have to quarter them out. Um, living here in Indiana, the farthest drag I might have is a mile and a half to two miles. And if they're that deep in, I'll go back and get my uh, game cart that I have that usually rides on top of the Jeep. For grunt calls, I use this extinguisher. I only have to carry one call in, and I got from a fawn uh. all the way to a buck. Uh. I've had really good success with this call. It sounds very real. Yeah, I just like the way it sounds. That's why I use the extinguisher. I'm running a new pack for this season. It's a Killick brand. I'm not sure on what model it is, but it's, it might be that K1000. I'm not sure if that's a model or what that is. But I'm running this pack because it has a bladder system in it. So when it's hot out, I don't have to carry one of those crinkly bottles in it. My sticks will mount on with these gear ties that I have on the bottom. My platform fits right here in this front pouch. It has this really small pouch right here. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in that yet. Maybe camera accessories. It has two pouches here, deep pouch here. I'll probably keep a grunt call and a knife in these two. And then I also have this big pouch here that I keep more camera accessories in. I've put this pack on my back and I've hiked probably 16 miles with it with all my weight and it actually holds the weight really nice. So just being this real flimsy tree stands uh, pack, it's, it's super nice. I would definitely recommend getting one of these. Super lightweight. For my climbing sticks, they are the Hawk Helium sticks. They're the shorter ones. They got the plastic buttons that are a complaint that everyone complains about. I have just this front one that is broke, and that's just because I didn't do what everyone else said, which is take a little bit of the extra plastic out in here. Let's see, focus. Yeah, just grind out some of that plastic because they make them way too tight. and once I ground those out, they click and pull apart perfect. They're quiet, pop right apart, line them back up.
and they're clicked together. And these will ride right on the bottom of my pack. I'll run that gear tie off this top stick and they hang right, right at the bottom of the pack. They don't bother me walking. They're quiet when you walk in. You're not getting caught on every, everything. Cause I mean, that's really, that's really not that wide. They only stick out like three inches on both sides. Once I'm up the tree, this is my platform that I use. It's the Hawk platform as well. It's super light. It packs perfect on that little pouch on my pack and it, it bites right in the tree. I've had no issues. I feel super safe out of it. This is a really good design as well. I really like the way that this platform really clips into this bag. They just two buckles on it. And then the way that these... Hello, beauty. And then the way these gear ties hold on, it just hangs about perfect. I'll get a weight on all this here in a second. I'll go in my basement. I have a scale down there I can weigh it on. Chris, 24. Well, guys, I hope you liked the little video with the gear dump. Um, that's what I'm planning on bringing into the woods. I still don't have a camera arm figured out. And then I also have my V3 and my arrows. And I think that's it. I'm really leaning towards the fourth arrow camera arm. Uh, I've read a lot of good things about it. They have like the camera, or the micro arm, and it's supposed to be really good for saddle hunters. And that's what I plan on hunting with all year. So, but besides that, like and subscribe. And thank you guys. CCRs with low light. Let's see how it is. Looks pretty good to me.